Anna Freud, born in 1895 in Vienna, Austria, was the youngest daughter of Sigmund Freud, the famous founder of a psychoanalysis. She followed in her uh, father's footsteps, becoming a significant figure in the world of psychology, particularly in the field of child psychoanalysis. Anna's first career began as a teacher, but her interest in psychology grew, leading her to train as psychoanalytic. Unlike her father, who focused on adult patients, Anna became interested in understanding the mind of children. In 1927, she published her first major work, Introduction to the Technique of Child Analysis where she explored how children's psychological treatment should be different from that one of adults. During World War II, Anna moved to London when she opened the Hampstead War Nursery. Here, she provided care and support for children who had been separated from their families due to the war. She carefully observed how these children coped with stress and trauma, which led her to write about how early experiences affect mental health in a later life. One of Anna Freud's most important contributions was her work on defense mechanism. She expanded on her father's ideas, explaining how the mind unconsciously protects itself from difficult feelings like fear, shame, or guilt. She identified mechanisms like repression, denial, projection, which are still commonly discussed in psychology today. Anna Freud also played a key role in developing child therapy methods. She believed in working closely with families and schools to support the child's emotional development. Her influence can still be seen in modern child psychology and therapy. Anna Freud continued her work until her death in 1982. Her dedication to understanding the mind, especially that of children, made her a pioneer figure in psychoanalysis. Through her work, she helped shape the field of child psychology and left a lasting legacy.